Batman is continuing to go over the edge in the latest issue. To catch you up, Batman ended up facing his own worst enemy, Failsafe. In order to fight his own creation, he needed to become the ultimate Batman. A Batman not held back by morals, family, or love. A Batman whose sole mission was saving Gotham, and that was his only mission. This was a different personality within his own mind, trained to take over if Bruce Wayne was ever incapacitated. And the battle with Failsafe brought out Zuranar, the ultimate Batman. After traveling through the multiverse, then fighting against Insomnia with the Justice League, and then fighting against Vandal Savage in the Gotham War, Batman is now alone. No family, no Bat Network, no resources. He is the one true Batman, and he has decided that it is time for Batman to resolve one loose plot thread. There are, in fact, three Jokers. This is Comic Story, and we create audio dramas of your favorite comic books so that you know what to put into your collection. And if you enjoy this type of content, look for us on Spotify and check out our sister channel, Comic Story and Full Story. The apartment building was brightly lit for a late night in Gotham. Lenny put his key into the lock, locking up as the old lady walked towards him. Late night? She asked him. And Lenny nods, smiling. Yeah. Clocking in overtime at the docks, he explains and she nods and reminds him to stay off the drugs, tottering away. Lenny enters his apartment, the smile immediately dropping from his face, so Bruce pulls off the fake mustache and gets to work on his gear. It's better this way. The brownstone still feels like a target for the family, but they still mean to get in the way of his mission. This is better. No distractions. Bruce works on his equipment on the table, listening to the police scanner, and finally hears it, a 720. He stands looking at his board of the city, looking at the images of the Joker. The clown is so common in Gotham that the GCPD have their own code for him, 720. The rain pours from the dark sky as the cops work the crime scene, and then they suddenly look up in fear as the balcony doors slide open to reveal the bat. No one says a word as he stalks past them, beginning to study the scene. He finds a man hanging from the ceiling, a baby doll strapped to his chest, bats pinned to the wall, and he quickly realizes that they're not pinned randomly. The entire scene is actually an elaborate map, and the victim is Wilfred LaMuller, heir to the Play East Toys Company. The map is of the world, and it pinpoints the places that Bruce Wayne traveled to train. The largest point on the map pointing to Paris, where Bruce was trained by Grey Shadow, a cat burglar named Lucy Chesson. It is then that the Bat realizes that the Joker must have kidnapped Lucy and has taken her to the mansion of Rosa Lomuller, owner of Play East Toys, an old recluse who never leaves her home at the edge of Gotham. In short time, Batman is stalking through the night, arriving at the mansion. Inside, he finds a darkened home littered with dolls. He moves through the shadows, his flashlight falling on the eerie scene. Oh, you got my little message! The Joker calls out from the darkness. How oh, I've missed you! <laughs> Batman turns as the doll comes to life, its mouth opening, spitting a fluid on him. Thinking it's Joker acid, he throws up his cape to block the attack, but the doll's mouth suddenly spits fire, igniting the lighter fluid that doused the cape. Not wanting the house to burn down, Batman moves quickly. He throws a pellet that extinguishes the flames. But at that moment, another doll suddenly comes rushing at him, slamming into his body, knocking him to the ground. Batman rolls, using the momentum to throw the doll away. He rushes in, using the gas pellets in his new hand to bring the doll down, the massive toy coughing, pulling off the doll head, revealing it to be one of Joker's goons. But the Joker toxin in his system quickly kills him and he falls to the ground. Another life, Zoranar says in Batman's mind, but Batman pushes him back. He will not let Zoranar win. Zoranar already caused problems at the Gotham War. Batman needs to ignore it, and he promises that this will be the last life that the Joker takes. He continues to move through the dark house until he finally arrives in the bedroom, voices coming from beneath the sheets. Batman pulls them away to reveal a TV and on it, the Joker is trying to torture Lucy Kesson. The old cat burglar criminal managed to escape and the TV goes blank. Oh, you and your feisty women! Cat Grandma fled the scene, sadly. But what do I care? Now that the main attraction is here! <laughs> Joker calls out. 
Batman looks up to see the murderous clown watching him from a crack in the ceiling. He fires the grappling hook, destroying it, leaping into the attic. I worked so hard for you! After all these years, I just don't think you appreciate my art! My craftsmanship! You know how long these things take to set up! Joker calls out. Batman stares in surprise as the attic lights up, revealing several scenes from his life arranged with dummies. The death of his parents, the death of a Robin. He moves through them, looking at the night his parents died. He sees the day that Jason was killed, the death of Alfred, the death of Selina. Joker keeps talking as Batman moves into the next room. Isn't it funny, Brucey? When someone holds you back, they just disappear! <laughs> Joker says, and in the next room, Batman finds the Joker sitting on a throne. The room, surrounded by dolls, dressed as the members of the Bat family. Joker smiles down at Batman. Who's next? Aren't they all in your way now? All of your little bat chums? Don't you just want them to disappear? So you can finally exhale and be yourself? Joker asks with an evil smile. Batman doesn't hesitate, stalking forward. No more games. No more victims. Just you and me, Joker. He growls and the Joker nods, standing, beginning to roll up the sleeves of his white suit. Oh, I couldn't agree more, Brucey. But here's the thing. I don't want to fight you. I want to fight the real you. He says, walking down the stairs. Batman suddenly stops, his body beginning to shake. Wait, what did you do to me? He gasps as he falls to his knees. He looks up as his vision begins to blur and the Joker gets closer. What did you do? He gasps and the Joker shakes his head, pointing out. Oh, I didn't do anything. This is all you, Brucey. Suddenly, Batman is in a black void. He can't move anymore as Zoranar walks past him. In the real world, the Joker is leaning ever closer. Don't fight it. Come on out, he whispers, and Batman suddenly smiles. He lashes out, smacking the Joker, knocking him away. Tonight, Joker, I'm going to kill you, Zoranar says, now in control of Batman's body, standing up as the one true ultimate Batman. But back in the void of his own mind, Batman tries to take control. He tries to battle against it, but something is holding him back. Something more than just one Zoranar. Because as he looks up, he's surrounded by the Zoranar of the multiverse. You're no longer in control. We are. Zoranar of Batman 89 says... Holy crap, is this story getting amazing. And if you want to know what happens next, well, I'll see you when the next issue comes out because this is to be continued.